Benjamin Franklin. John Adams. And of course, the lovely Abigail Adams, always waiting in the wings in support of her husband's valid efforts to free the colonies from the tyrannical rule of King George III. Let's listen in and see what they have to say. Well, John, today's the day. Today we will find out where each colony stands in our quest for freedom. The struggle has been long. The war between Britain and the colonies has been going on for more than a year. Washington and his troops have been valiant in their defense against tyranny. But the time has come to make a formal statement, to declare our intentions for all the world to see, that we will not be ruled unjustly. Oh, John, hurry the signing. Come home to your beloved. Yes, dear. It was truly clever of us to have Jefferson draft this most important document as well as to have the popular Lee from Virginia to declare our audacious intentions to the Congress. For you know, John, it's a common fact. You're quite the thorn in the statesman's side. John, must you take such insult from that puffed up Franklin? Yes, dear. Believe me, it has been most difficult. Sitting aside and watching my fellow colonists shred my original draft has been among the most nerve-wracking and humiliating experiences of my life. Eighty changes it took to get this far. But a marvel of a finished piece, Jefferson. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. An absolutely brilliant beginning and surely will become the most potent and consequential words in American history. Oh, John, surely you could have come up with more eloquent words to taunt King George? Yes, dear. The goal is not to taunt, but to break free from the tyranny that has too long prevailed over this land. We must free ourselves from the oppression of our mother country. We must live free or die. Some are calling it treason. Treason, treason, my good man, is a charge drafted by winners as an excuse to hang the losers. We will hang together, or by God, we will hang individually. Gentlemen, we are about to brave the storm in a skiff made of paper. And Lord only knows how it all will end. It's time for the Declaration of the Independence of the Colonies. Before the signing, let's first discuss our national bird. The eagle? The dove? The turkey? What? The eagle? The dove? How about the eagle? The eagle, yes. Yay. Yes. The eagle it is. And now, we declare the independence of our colonies. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Oh, John, do get on with this. How does Hades out here? Yes, yes dear. dear. <laughs> and thus was born a new nation, our country, United States of America. 